Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video tutorial, I want to talk about how to do a ping and how to do a trace route from your computer to your website. So frequently inside of our support center, we will see people that are frustrated because they can't reach their website. Um, a lot of times when this happens, they've gotten their IP hung in the firewall because they've accidentally logged into cPanel using the wrong username and password, or they've logged into the um, an email account with the wrong username and password. If you do that more than five times or so, then the, your IP address can actually get caught in the firewall. So one of the first things that our support techs ask our customers to do when they're having trouble reach their website is to do a ping or a trace route. So I wanted to show a quick um, video tutorial on how you can do this because it's super easy and this saves our techs a lot of time trying to guess really what's wrong on your end. So I'm using a Mac right now, and if you've got a Mac, um, you can follow along, and if you've got a Windows, I'll show you what that looks like as well. But you want to open your terminal window, and I think on a Mac, you go to Applications, you can go down here to Utilities at the bottom, and then click on Terminal. And that brings up a new terminal window that looks just like this. And so to do a trace route, I would just type in trace route, and then I type in my website. So in my case, namehero.com. And I push enter, and then it gives me the results. So then you could provide this trace route to our tech, tech support team, and then they could diagnose what's going on. Now you can see I'm able to access Name Hero in my browser, and the, of course the trace route is successful. Now if I wasn't able to access Name Hero in my browser, the trace route would not be complete. So basically we would be able to see based on these steps here where it's timing out and what, where the problem is. Um, the other thing we like to do is have you run a ping. So again, just like trace route, we're just going to type in ping, and then we're going to type in namehero.com and push enter. And you can see it's successfully pinging the server. And this is going to keep going on and on and on and on. Um, but these are the two things that we ask if you can't reach your website to what you need to send us in the support department. Now, if you have a Windows, you need to open up your command prompt, which is very similar to the terminal inside of a Mac. And I think um, you can do a search. I'll bring a screenshot in here for CMD. So you just go to um, your Windows menu and click search and type in CMD. And you can double click on CMD.exe. And that brings up a terminal window, um, just like for the Mac here. And let me show you what that looks like as well uh, for the ping and trace route. So if I pull this screenshot in here, you can see for a ping, you do the same thing. Ping space yourwebsite.com. Um, you know, in this example here, it's Microsoft.com. And then trace route's a little different than a Mac. You just type in trace RT space and then your website. And then you would provide these results here to the tech team. So um, Windows is very familiar from a very similar to a Mac. You just open up the um, command prompt and then run ping. And the only difference with the trace route is is trace RT space your website. Now if it's, you know, sometimes the terminal can be, you know, complicated for people. So you can also just type into Google trace route and you can see the top result here, IP trace route tool. It's from ultratools.com. You can use this too. So I could type in namehero.com. Um, this is the maximum number of hops. We just type in 64. Um, it's a fine number. You can type in lower. It's whatever. It's gonna, it just takes the more hops here, I think, the longer it takes to execute the um, trace route. Um, so we'll just give that a second. Okay. So you can see now um, here's hop number one, two, three, four. And I think that's seven. I'm not sure why it's not doing all of them. But anyways, um, you can send this results here too. And you can see it's connecting. For some reason, these here did not connect. But I'm able to load it in my browser so I don't have an issue. Um, but you could copy and paste these results over to the tech team so they could, you know, see what's going on. But this, I guess this is going through their, their servers here. Um, they've got a couple extra servers um, to test it through. And they also have a ping tool on here. So I can type in ping and same thing, namehero.com. And I can click go. And it's going to actually ping the server, and you can see um, here's the number of bytes and the response time it got from the actual server. They have got a packet summary and latent, latency summary, so you could copy and paste these. But you know, really, the the terminal is the best way because that's 
testing directly from your network. You know, the using this other tools here, Ultra Tools, it's not going through your network. It's going to go through their network. So if your website's not coming up, this is going to show you where the block is, you know, why it's not coming up. And you can also do it inside of cPanel. But again, if you're able to connect to cPanel, it's likely you're able to connect to your site. But let me show you that just so I cover all the bases on how to do a ping and trace route. So and I'm Name Hero here, you just log into your account and it's account and log in. Enter your username and password. Um, go to your hosting package. I'm just going to use this starter cloud demo. Click log into cPanel. And I'm going to type in, you can just type in trace route or trace, and it comes up under track DNS. And you can just click here under trace route, trace, and you can see it connects just fine. Um, but again, this, the cPanel tool and the Ultra tools here, this tests um, external networks. So it just tests to see if the server is online. So you can see, you know, is the server your website's on offline? Well, this will show you that right, right here. But if you're still unable to access it, that's why it's so important to do it inside of your terminal because that's going to see is the issue just you or is it everyone else? Now at Name Hero, we also have a status page. So if you hover over support, and click network status you can see we keep all of our announcements on here you know when if there's something going on you can't reach your site you can see that there's announcements posted here as to when we're working on them um, but then you have this big long list here of real-time status and so if you're not seeing any red in here but you're, you're seeing all green like we are now then you know that it's possibly a local end it's something wrong on your end and our support team's more than willing to help you out and figure that what what that is but using that trace route and ping that allows us to see where the hang up exactly is on your network um, you know name hero we're known for 99.9 percent .9 uptime so whenever we're seeing tickets that you know people are angry because their site's down it's not something that really happens um, frequently here at name hero so you know when we get that type of ticket you know we definitely investigate as soon as possible but um, you know the real good thing about this graph here is this is real time. If if something was down, you'd see a red. Um, these aren't static. These are d dynamically loaded from the servers that they're on. And as I said, when we're performing a maintenance, which you know we do every once in a while, um, we will list them on here. So then you know you know between, for example, on September 29th between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. we're going to be upgrading a processor. So it could be around 30 minutes. Probably not that much downtime, but we always you know plan for the worst, expect the best, right? Um, anyway, so that's um, that's kind of the things you need to look at. Now I do want to talk about um, what happens when there's an IP block um, because you know, some people, especially newer users, don't quite understand this. Um, and I put on this article that the single big, biggest reason for us getting cursed out via live chat phone or a ticket system is customers not reaching their site. And I can get it. You know, it's very um, frustrating when you can't reach your site. But because of the security here at Name Hero, we do operate a strict set of firewall rules, meaning that if you do log into an email account more than five times with the wrong username and password, the system blocks your IP address from logging in again. And that's to benefit you because think if it's an evildoer, if it's a spammer and they're trying to guess your username and password, if they try five times, they're out. Um, because most of the time when someone has a typo, by the fifth time, they're going to get it right. Um, so this can happen for email accounts. It can happen, happen with cPanel or web host manager. Um, but you can also unblock this. So let me show you how to do that. So um, even before sending a trace route or a ping, um, you can check your IP address in the firewall um, through our interface. So we have this tool set up, just whatisyouriP.net. That's www.whatisyouriP.net. And this is going to show you your IP address. So you can copy this and go back to your client panel. Hover over support, click unblock IP, and you can see it even populates it for you, but sometimes we have people uh, check it here just to be sure. And you can click check for IP block and remove, and it'll actually check the server that your website's hosted on and see if your IP address is blocked. And you can see I've got two accounts on Mark and Thomas in my demo, and there's no blocks. Um, so that's you know the first thing to do is to check that, to see you know is your IP address blocked. 
Um, if no, then do the trace route and ping, send it to our support team, and they'll help you out and see what's going on. You know, most of the time it's a, a minor issue that something is not connecting. Um, but that's how it's done, and you know, this will save you a lot of headache, a lot of grief. If you're not able to reach your site, I do understand how frustrating it is, but I can almost promise you nine chances out of ten, it's just something that, um, you know, there's a misconfiguration somewhere, you've um, you know, fat fingered something, you know, typed something wrong. I do it all the time. Um, a DNS entry is not um, set up correctly. So so it's very, very rare, though, at Name Hero that, that we have any downtime. So if you're not able to access your website and you're on our hosting, it's likely there's something you know simple going on. Now, our order processing team, they whitelist the IP address of your order. Um, and we do that for convenience, right? Because we know if you've ordered from the IP that um, you know, you're not going to be doing anything malicious to your site, right? So we, we whitelist that so it cannot be blocked. You're more than welcome to send us over additional IP addresses to whitelist. Uh, that way you never get hung in, in the firewall. And if you find a block on this tool here, you can always contact our team and ask them to whitelist it so it will never be blocked again. Well, a lot of customers like to do that, and I don't blame them. You know, if you have an office and a home, it's always good to, you know, check your home and office IPs and, and then provide those to us to whitelist as well. Um, and another thing, if your site's not loading, I always recommend to pull out your smartphone. Nowadays, everyone's got a smartphone, iPhone, Android, whatnot, and make sure your Wi-Fi is off and use your cellular network to go to your site. And if you can access it there, then that lets us know that there's a block somewhere on your internet connection. So we, you know, we also ask people to do that to troubleshoot it. So let us know if you have any questions, though. Again, the command line on Mac, the, the terminal on Mac, command line on Windows, Trace route your domain, click enter. Um, here's the information. Then, of course, ping in your domain, and here's the information to send. Um, and again, Windows is the command line. It's ping.yourdomain.com or whatnot. And trace routes trace. Trace R T, so Trace R T, and then your website. So I'm going to put this on the blog too, just so um, you have it for your reference, and you can use this to um, provide the information to our tech team if you ever need it. So thanks so much for watching, and thanks for using NameHero.com.